Good morning, this is Pramod Jaiswal from English Chronicles. Uh, after a gap, I am once again resuming with Merchant of Venice. This is Act 2, Scene 7. The scene takes place uh, in Belmont, a hall in Portia's house. The participants are uh, Morocco, Prince of Morocco, Portia. So, as you know, this uh, scene takes place, it's the uh, first uh, uh, that uh, her father has devised a choice uh, by which uh, there are three caskets, uh, gold, silver and lead. Gold, silver and lead. You should remember who chooseth me shall uh, desire what men desire. Silver is for deserve and lead is for hazard. This you should remember, the quotation, who chooseth me. Shall get. You should remember. Now, uh, Prince of Morocco comes uh, and said, first he reads the inscriptions in all the three caskets, who chooseth me shall get what he desires. Who chooseth me shall get what he deserves, and who chooseth me shall have to hazard what he has. So then after he moves on to uh, he start he starts with uh, a lead casket and he how you have to in exam you might get reasons to give reasons why he uh, rejects lead or silver and you might get questioned why he uh, opts for or he selects gold. The reasons you have to remember. <coughs> now with lead, some god direct my judgment. He is very nervous that uh, I, in the previous scene one, I have already told you though he tries to prove to Portia that she was, uh, he was very brave. And he wanted to prove that with his scimitar and he gives many reasons that he was brave, don't go after his complexion. But still now he is on the point of selection. Uh, so he is very nervous, he is praying to God to give direct him in his judgment. So I will survey the inscri inscriptions back again, what says this laden casket. So he is going backward now, he starts with lead, who chooseth me shall uh, must give and hazard all he hath. The lead says that whatever you have, you have to give him at risk for hazard. So he uh, give reasoning skills for this such a base metal. Uh, must give for what? For lead, hazard for lead. This cat just threatens me. As if he is threatening me that you give everything what you have and to play a gamble at risk. Men that hazard all and if they play game uh, at risk, they play in the hope of achieving something, getting something more. In hope of fair advantages, a golden mind means wise person. Golden mind means wise person never stoops. Stoops means bend down, bow down to shows of dross. Means uh, all that glitters is not gold, worthless shows. A wise man, a man who is uh, full of wisdom, uh, does not, uh, he is not inclined or he is not drawn towards the shows, means uh, the glittering outward, superficial. I will then nor give nor hazard aught for lead. Then he decides, no, I will not give, I will not take any risk for such a base metal as lead. So, for lead, he has already given uh, this description. So, you remember the points what he has given. Uh, for lead, lead is a base metal. And risk, he cannot take risk. Now, let's take <coughs> what he moves for silver. Next is silver. Next, virgin hue. He talks about virgin hue. The color is white and white represents virginity, purity. White refers to virginity and purity. Virgin. Hue means color. 
this refers to purity white color virgin is purity now <coughs> he talks uh, how he uh, listened to the discussion on what basis he discards as much as he deserves pause morocco he told uh, says to himself morocco don't be in haste wait judge yourself how much you deserve you judge yourself huh as much as he deserves and weigh thy value with an even hand means you estimate estimate yourself you judge your worth and weigh thy value with an even hand if thou beest rated by any estimation and if you are judged rated means judged by any estimation by any presumption or uh, any gradation thou dost deserve enough you deserve a lot but still what you deserve a lot and yet enough may not extend and whatever you deserve you might come up to this level but that is not sufficient to meet the category of what porsia has you might not match for what porsia is may not extend so far as to the lady and yet to be afeard of my deserving and because what i deserve may not come up to the mark and uh, i may be afraid and this fear might be one of the reasons of losing porsia i might lose porsia and yet to be afeard afeard means afraid of my deserving where but a weak i may become weak disabling myself i will disable myself i won't become up to the mark as much as i deserve why that's the lady i do now he gives in uh, other reasons i uh, in other qualities i deserve her i do in birth means i belong to royal family by birth i deserve her and in fortunes i have money lot of money so i deserve her in graces in virtues and qualities i have great many virtues so i deserve her and in qualities of breeding my offspring noble birth so i deserve in all these qualities huh but more than these and apart from all these why he deserves because he loves from the core of his heart so he gives his reason that i deserve you because i love you from the bottom of the heart so before coming to a decision again he once again uh, deflects towards another casket let's see once more this saying graved in gold now once again he is uh, dissuaded he is dissuaded he is diverted deflected towards gold to so gold it says how much he desires gold is how much he desires so let's see what reasons he gives to select gold he is not going to already two he has silver he has rejected lead he has rejected let's see what he gives reasons for selecting gold <coughs> who chooseth me shall gain what many men desire yes all men desire who won't desire to uh, get married with such a beautiful princess porsia why that's the lady all the world desires her all the world desires her from the four corners of the earth from all around the globe from every corners of the world come to kiss this shrine now this shrine has been uh, very important you might get it uh, shrine has been compared to house belmont's porsia's house and saint has been compared to porsia remember this this is important from from the four corners of the world people come here to pay a visit to this shrine to kiss this shrine this mortal breathing saint mortal who will die breathing he is lively saint means porsia the harkanian Har desert and the vasty wilds wilds of white arabia means they 
uh, vast desert has become a thoroughfare the wilderness the forest doesn't matter they cannot stop the people coming from there to see porsche of wide arabian desert that becomes a thoroughfare as if it is a common road you can cross they hardly care for that distance or trouble they have uh, traced they have uh, passed for princess to come view fair porsche just only to see her her beauty her vivacious beauty the watery kingdom vast watery sea bodies oceans they cross it whose ambitious head means who are so ambitious and who are so disturbed that their waves are going high and spits in the heaven that is spitting in the heaven shows that the waves are very high as if they are spitting in the heaven they cannot stop those people those suitors to visit porsche they cannot be a bar they cannot obstruct them to stop the foreign spirits the spirit refers to the suitors but they come as over a brook they treat this vast watery kingdom as if it is a small brook a small stream or a river they just cross it very taking it very lightly to see whom to see this beautiful porsche one of these three contains her now once again he has to take his final decision so heavenly picture isn't like that lead contains her so it would be a dam to think so base a thought lead is a base metal how can i my think about such a base metal uh, it were too gross means it is worthless metal to rib her sere cloth means it is made into a cloth by which the dead body is wrapped to make a shroud it is a base metal it cannot be used even to cover the dead body in a shroud she is a mude where she is engraved <clears throat> bring 10 times being 10 times undervalued to gold it is no uh, so next he says about silver what reasons he give to discard about silver <clears throat> he says that it is 10 times less valuable than gold ha huh? being 10 times undervalued to tried gold tried gold means several times it is heated in fire to make it pure and pure oh sinful thought i it would be a great sin if i think of uh, uh, thinking that she would be in a silver casket they never so rich a gem he gives an example a gem a precious gem cannot be set in a gold uh, was set in worse than a gold gold set uh, sub inferior to gold it cannot be placed in that he gives an example of england a coin of gold <coughs> a coin that bears the figure of an angel an angel is engraved in it is stamped in gold but that is in sculpted upon so he wants to show that even in england there is a gold coin where there is an angel in sculpted so <coughs> why with this he describes that lies all within so he gives an example by here in angel in a golden bed so if she is an angel he compares porsche to an angel and she lies in a bed so she is the one who should uh, be placed in a golden casket that she come to decision uh, of choosing the gold casket and he asks for the metal so that's enough for today uh we shall uh, be looking further for continuation if you like the explanation please uh press the button of like and share among your friends and thank you have a nice day